Hi friends, I just want to talk for a minute about the times when we are having a tough time letting go of something that happened in the past. And I wanna look at scripture in Philippians chapter three, and I wanna read two of my favorite verses that I hold on to as memory verses when the enemy is continuing to draw me to what happened in the past instead of me focusing on what lies ahead. So the scriptures are Philippians 3, chapter 3, uh, Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. And it says, and this is the Apostle Paul, and he says, But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and reaching forward to what is ahead, I pursue as my goal the prize promised by God's heavenly call in Christ Jesus. Friends, the Lord does not want us to get dragged down by the things in our past because we have a glorious future with the Lord Jesus Christ at his coming and we do not have to let the past determine what is going to happen to us in the future. In fact, look at Paul. He says, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and reaching forward to what is ahead. I pursue as my goal the prize promised by God's heavenly call in Christ Jesus. So practically, I just want to share with you how this works for me. I pray and I ask the Lord to help me let it go. Just let it go. Give it into his hands. I use this verse as a sword of the spirit and I just continue to move ahead with what God has called me to do. I have to sometimes continue to do it because the enemy loves to remind me of the past, of mistakes I've made, or just spend time getting my mind all caught up what happened in the past. And I want to move ahead on what God is calling me to do. And I know that you do too, because like I said, we have a glorious inheritance in the Lord Jesus Christ that is right around the corner. Friends, women and girls and teens, our best days are ahead of us. So let's forget what lies behind and reach forward to what lies ahead and pursue as our goal, the prize promised in God's heavenly calling, Christ Jesus. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon.